friends, my name is Nyx and welcome to another Animal Crossing build. Today we are building a little garden on our island. Um, you'll eventually see I have like zero plants. <laughs> All I have is some pumpkins and then some tomatoes I bought. So I have to kind of fill it up a little bit more, but I wanted to fill up this empty space like by the museum and Able Sisters because there's just kind of this little area here and I was like well a little garden could be cute here um it's not very big I didn't really decorate it with a whole lot either but I would like to eventually get the um like those plant stands things that item you know what I mean <laughs> uh I want to get I think I might want to get one of those to kind of pop in there somewhere but I went really simple with it. It's not, I wouldn't say it's like super elegant either, but I just worked with what the, with the space and items I have. I don't have very many items anymore. So I kind of need to go find some more. <laughs> and I wanted to use this purple and I was debating changing the color, but then I was kind of too lazy to go to Harv's Island and get it recolored. So I just left it. <laughs> it looks okay because I, do have some garden lanterns that are black and it kind of blends it in so it kind of works and then my brick path here it's it's not even <laughs> um i tried but to um fit the pergola you kind of had to put it out like an extra space so it's not the nicest maybe i'll like expand it a little bit to make it look a little bit better but i don't know it kind of fits that street lamp there anyways i think i think i keep that there oh my god i don't even remember no i don't need <laughs> i don't even keep it And then I go for a balloon and I miss it. Don't judge me. <laughs> I put down the well because every good garden needs a well. I I'm kind of missing a bucket. I need to find a bucket. Cause like I have the water pump too and you need a bucket for those to get the aesthetic going and then I just kind of plop things down randomly I found these I had like the DIY for these grass standees and they're really cute I didn't really know where to put them but they add a little bit of texture <laughs> to the build And then I put the pergola back down and see how like with the brick path, I might like extend it by like one or two just to kind of fill it out a little bit because it looks kind of dumb the way it is now that I'm really looking at it. But. And they're my garden lanterns. You can't really see one, but. And then it kind of, yeah, it blends in the pergola. It helps tie it in. And I make some more fences. I still haven't fixed the fencing on my house. <laughs> like for that build, I've been really lazy. I've been kind of slacking on Animal Crossing lately, but I do miss building in it, so maybe I'll do like a big, like, build video for it. Because like, we're we're getting close to filling it up, like we just kind of have to decorate the villager houses and fill up like a little bit of space and then like, 
it could be done. Like, we're getting there, so... Maybe we'll just- I'll do, like, just one great big build. <laughs> and my tomatoes didn't even want to plant into the- to the dirt. <laughs> they decided to plant everywhere else but the dirt. <laughs> but I got my pumpkins, got some tomatoes, and I need to fill out the other two, but... It's just a very simple build. It didn't really take me that long. But it looks cute. I like it. And here's my little walkthrough. I put the storage shed down there. But I think I might want to change that to like that plant item. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.